The U.S. State Department says greater efforts will be made to clamp down on illegal activities like human trafficking, fraud, and falsification of documents through more intense training and capacity building for Grenada and other Caribbean countries. The department on Friday concluded a four-day training with members of the Royal Grenada Police Force as well as airline representatives, customs and immigration department on fraud prevention and detection. Criminal fraud investigator Rodney Holder said he is confident that Grenada's detection and crime-solving rates will improve going forward. He commended the officers on the positive attitude towards making a difference within the system. The participation from the, the students here was very good this week. Uh, they are. They seem to be very knowledgeable in the different subject areas that were under instruction, and what we are hoping to do is to build capacity of persons to be able to identify fraudulent documents, also to identify the signs of human trafficking, and basic interview techniques, giving persons the ability to conduct interview and to garner information of value from the persons. Based on the response that we got from the students, uh, we did a lot of practical exercises as well, and this was to give us the opportunity to see if the students were able to grasp the different concepts that were taught, and they did very well in these areas. And we also encourage the students to share the knowledge. You know, when you go back to your different um, agencies and offices to share the knowledge with your colleagues, that way we will be able then to build capacity uh, when we're looking at preventing fraud and identifying fraudulent documents and identifying signs of human trafficking. The training was conducted following a request made by Commissioner of Police Edwin Martin. Special Agent with the U.S. Department Ryan Massivini highlighted the specific areas of focus of the training. Falsified documents, imposter detection, and also taking a look at human trafficking and how, how we counter modern day slavery. Each day we trained for about four hours and there were 20 participants here from um, different government agencies, immigration, customs, and also American Airlines had some participants here. We've been in contact with Grenada on a multitude of investigative activities over the years and um, we've been in frequent contact with the Commissioner of Police and after the protocols were lifted due to COVID-19, we decided to come down here and, and do a face-to-face -face training and that was at the request of the uh, Commissioner of Police and also uh, a request the U.S. Ambassador made of us to come to Grenada. Customs and Immigration Officers Neilon Franklin and Sergeant Allison Lewis gave the assurance that the tips and techniques shared during the training will be put into practice in the execution of their duties. The training is quite timely given our, our line of responsibility and our day-to-day -day, uh, operations. The techniques learned will definitely be put into practice. I can guarantee that from a customs point of view. Uh, the officers who participated were most of the from the airport, so we would see the application of those techniques in our day-to-day -day operations. In the area of um, fraudulent document, um, imposter detection, questioning techniques, um, I know that um, it would be very helpful in our line of work. Um, that's what we do to, on a day-to-day -day basis, and I know it would be very helpful for us. Um, those of us who don't have the opportunity to be here, we can share this information when we get back to our respective places to ensure that we all are well equipped to, to, to take the department further to provide much better service at the border. The training was held at the True Blue Bay Conference Room.